But in Switzerland, they really believe in flywheels, gyros. They drive buses with them. They drive buses around up hill and down dale for half a day at a time. There is a Swiss bus, and there is a picture of the gyroscope, or the, the flywheel, inside the bus. Look at the size of it compared with the man standing alongside. Enough energy to drive a bus for half a day. And unlike the internal combustion engine, when it goes downhill, it effectively pours petrol back into the tank. You see, in Switzerland, they have lots of ups and downs. And if they're going to have use all the petrol getting up and then have nothing to come back, the flywheel will absorb the energy on the way down. Our little fellow here has done very well, hasn't he? You know, it's a perpetual motion machine. I mean, uh, how long do you think we'd have to wait for that top to stop? Well, I can tell you, you would have to wait five and a half days and nights. You can see there's something rather odd going on, can't you? Inside there, there's a whole box of electronics. There's a little mica chip with six transistors on it. There's an electromagnet in the center. There's a, detec a metal detecting device. And underneath the top, there's a little bit of steel. And when it gets near the center, the metal detecting device shouts, Hey, he's coming! And the electromagnet switches on. And the clever bit is this raised exclamation mark you can see, I think, in the monitor. Because the underside of the top is so shaped that when it's pulled in against that exclamation mark, it runs along it and it gives it, as it were, a lash from a whip. So it's very like the old-fashioned whip and top idea. And of course, the top will keep going just as long as there is energy for the electromagnet and for one very small pocket lamp battery that will run five and a half days. <laughs> That's a nice toy indeed. But if you really want to see... <laughs> our gyro really precesses, then we've made one which, in which the rim has been subdivided into a lot of little masses on spring wires so that when I set it in motion, turn it to the to the camera, you can see this. If I now waggle it side to side, the inner ring that is, you can see the precession taking place not about the point you thought, not about the midpoint here, but about the top and bottom. And if I give the inner ring a spin, you can see this leaning over like a dinner plate. Can you see that? Incidentally, I said that when you had a gyro going, it wanted to maintain its axis of spin. Why isn't that stopping the minute I let go? It wasn't what the other gyros did. There's one for you to think about. I'll answer that next time. Thank you. <laughs> there is much, much experimenting to be done. I've only tried offset gyros like that. Relatively simple. What about this one? I counterbalance the mass of the gyro here so that I've got gyro axis, precession axis, and torque axis. Only the torque and rotor axis meet. And then you can go one stage further and have three axes. Sorry, that wasn't the one, that's that one. That one has all three axes, skew lines in space. That, torque axis, axis of rotor, all missing one another. What might that do? And we haven't yet started taking energy out of the rotor, which is what an electrical engineer would call radiation. All this and more must be done. Even the mathematics is not beyond A level. The subject is so new, although it's a hundred years old, the seas are so uncharted, I've only had time to make replicas of those. Edward de Bono encourages us to do lateral thinking, and his books contain delightful examples. Well, here's a beauty you might like to add to the collection. Gyroscopes do not exhibit a new force, they show a lack of a force where there should have been one. That's why it was so hard to see, a lack of centrifugal. I see nobody on the road, said Alice. I only wish I had such eyes, said the king in a fretful tone, to be able to see nobody, and at that distance too. <laughs> Lewis Carroll must be laughing at us all. If there is a lack of a force, the rest is just pure engineering. We have not yet covered all the situations, especially the radiation one. But above all, never forget, beware the jabberwock, my son. The jaws that bite, the claws that snatch. There are many heads and many claws. But what an adventure. <laughs>